Hey everyone, good Monday evening. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back to Weather 4, Weather Geeks, our daily deep dive into the valley weather, past, past present, and uh, future. Speaking of past weather, uh, some areas, especially north of I-80, had some heavy storms. Yesterday afternoon, they snuck down into parts of Mahoning County and dry Columbiana County missed most of our action last evening. We'll kind of recap uh, precipitation amounts so far in July. Coming up momentarily, I wanted to start this evening with a, a quick time lapse from Youngstown uh, today. Kind of an interesting looking sky today. We had different types of clouds. It was a good day to break out the kind of the cloud atlas and uh, look up what types of clouds you uh, may have seen in the sky today because we had a wide variety. High clouds, mid-level clouds, some lower clouds. Interesting looking sky, but no rain clouds out there today. And actually, it felt pretty decent outside today. It was a noticeable change compared to the weekend when it comes to how muggy it felt. And even though it was a little warmer than average, that 85 today, to me, felt quite a bit nicer than the 90 we had both days over the weekend. So 4.8 degrees above the average is where we stand through the first 20 days of the month. All right, rainfall for the first 20 days of July. Uh, the big winner so far in our local area has been Trumbull County. Parts of uh, Trumbull County have, have seen four or five inches or more worth of rain in some spots. While you get down south of 224 and closer to the Route 30 corridor, once you're down into Lisbon, Hanoverton, down towards Calcutta, Glenmore, East Palestine, Rogers, Nagley, you know, the rainfall totals have almost universally been under two inches, with just a couple of exceptions. Maybe a little hot spot down towards Selineville, but uh, it's been a pretty dry month once you get down into parts of Columbiana County. It gets really dry over towards Canton, Worcester. Some places have had less than a half an inch worth of rain in that corridor so far in the month of July. All right, of course, a big weather story. One year ago today, it was the massive flooding in the Kinsman area. Uh, parts of northeastern Trumbull County, parts of Mercer County got walloped with 6 to 10 inches worth of rain in a fairly short amount of time. And that, of course, caused the enormous problems with the bridge washing away. And, and that was a huge story at this time last year. Um, nothing like that uh, to that magnitude flooding-wise this year. We've had our individual or isolated flooding events here and there, but we haven't had too many big problems on the rivers here uh, in the last few months. Rainfall amounts have been generally much more modest this year compared to some of the occasions we've had over the last couple of years. 2018, 2019 had some really big rain events in some places. We haven't had a repeat of that, thankfully, this year. All right, uh, a front is stalled off to our south this evening. This front is kind of a dew point boundary. And it's kind of uh, the delineation between the really soupy air that we had over the weekend and the more uh, kind of tolerable air that we have overhead now. And where that boundary is laid out, there's some showers and some thunderstorms this evening. And those dew points are in the upper 60s and lower 70s in Lexington and Charleston, even as far north as Cincinnati. But our dew points have backed off into the upper 50s here locally this evening. It's a very nice summer evening. All right, with our back-to-back 90-degree -back days over the weekend, that brings our 2020 total up to 10 almost on par with uh, last year's 90 degree temperature total. 18, the high water mark uh, in 2012 and 2018 in recent years. And uh, a reminder that, well, since 1930, a couple of times we had 40 90 degree days, 1931 and 1943. All right, that dew point boundary will do a little wiggling and dancing over the next 24 hours, coming close enough that we may get grazed by a shower or two tomorrow morning. Even though our in-house model here would suggest that the chance for a shower or a storm will be with us into the afternoon. I'm not real uh, bullish on that. I kind of think that uh, a lot of the afternoon is, is just completely dry uh, right now, with the, the best shower and thunderstorm chances being closer to I-70, uh, Columbus to Pittsburgh. Um, and around here, I, I kind of suspect we get away with a dry afternoon. But a much more humid afternoon coming our way Wednesday. Dew points come up. We've got another one of these weak cold fronts. We've had a few of these lately. They can be enough to spark some showers and storms. You know, there's not much of a temperature gradient with these fronts, but there's some atmospheric dynamics and, and uh, enough of a wind shift uh, that you can get some, some storms going up. And I think we'll have that Wednesday afternoon and into parts of Wednesday night. And then we'll dry things out for Thursday, and I think those dew points will start to come down. SPC, Storm Prediction Center, has us in the low-end risk for severe weather Wednesday. One on a one-to-five scale. And as I mentioned a few times when we talk about these convective outlooks, from SPC. They tend to be pretty conservative on day three. It's pretty rare, especially around here, where you get anything slight risk and above on day three. Um, the, the the one out of five is pretty common on the day three outlook. So we'll see if they carve out a, a slight risk or a two out of five uh, somewhere on this map tomorrow. Right now, I'm not real 
gung ho on it being a big severe weather day Wednesday. I think uh, if they introduce a slight risk area Wednesday, it may be to our east, but uh, that remains to be seen. Either way, it's going to be really muggy Wednesday. Those dew points will probably still be elevated Thursday morning. I think they'll start to come down Thursday afternoon. And while, again, no sort of autumnal air mass is coming our way anytime soon, we might see kind of a retreat back to the kind of weather we had today at the end of the week. So Friday could be almost a carbon copy of today. Pretty nice day. Dew points lower, mid-60s at worst, and temperatures in the Middle 80s, and you know, no surprise, no, no change in the long range thinking. This is a steamy pattern. It's not the kind of pattern that's going to produce highs in the upper 90s or anything like that, but very consistently warmer than average. And of course, we're in mid to late July, and it's supposed to be real warm at this time of the year, but compared to the average, uh, there is no end in sight to this pattern. So the dog days are here, and uh, they are here to stay. Uh, I don't see any sort of strong cold front that really knocks us back into the low 50s for overnight lows and maybe we get a day with daytime highs in the mid 70s we can get that sometimes in late july um it's rare but it can happen i don't see it happening this year that is a high confidence forecast for me at this stage of the game all right thanks for watching weather for weather geeks tonight i'll see you geeks back here on tuesday